Libra kando sate lebro shiata la baros. Kiba lendo salebro ko shiata la mato. Lebere ko shiata la baros. Shebe lendo kabale ko shiata la babros. Riba ba 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 ba. Kebe la ko salemando. Mashike telebro ko shiata la babros. Riba ba 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 ba. Kale brosia tala mando, shike tele bokosia tala baros, re be 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 be, ki balando brokosia tala babros, rapa pa 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 pa, seke tele bokosia tala masu, masi ke tele bokosia tala baros, rapa ba 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 ba. Ki balendo shabale kosia tala babrosha tabale kondo libra seke tele bokosia tala babros raba ba 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 ki balendo sate brokosia tala masu maseke tele bokosia tala babros raba ba 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 ki balendo sate brokosia tala masu Masi kete le boko shiata la babrosa. Ra ba 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 ba. Te be le ko shiata la masu. Masi kete le boko shiata la babrosa. Ra ba 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 ba. Ki ba lendo sa te broko shiata la masu. Shi kete le boko shiata la masu. Le te le ba ba. Be ru ko sa. Le te le ba ba ba. Hanta le. Shi kete le. Sikra antale kra 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 s
Ba 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 
Precious, 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 Masclan <laughs> <laughs> 
Precious Lord, precious, precious. Le male in talegrate, le reke ke 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 te. Iye te li ba 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 tale ma se te. Le grate li ba 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 re grate tale ra grate le grate le grate. Le ba 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 ha tale ba se grate le ba ha tale ko. Ma te li ba 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 ha tale ro se te. Le se te li ba 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 ha tale grate te le ba 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 ko se te. Iye te li ba ma ma ha tale ba se grate le grate le ba 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 ko se tale ba. Ma li ba ba ra ko se te ba ba le kra i tale kra se grate le se tale le grate le le grate le ba 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 ko se. We like to take the Lord's Prayer. And we'd like to read from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, from verses 9 to 13. We may read together. It says, After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let's just... Uh, Take the Lord's Prayer and pray it in tongues. Ba 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 
We like to uh, take our anchor from the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, from verses 13 to 20. We may all read together. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall the deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the hearts, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments. He hath cast out thine enemy, the enemy. king of Israel, king of even Israel, the Lord is in the, the midst Lord of thee. In the midst thou of shalt not see evil, not anymore. See evil anymore. In that day in it, that shall day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, fear thou not, fear and to Zion, not. And let not child. thine hands be let slack. Not thine hands be the Lord thy God in the, the midst, Lord of, thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will say, he will rejoice will over, rejoice thee, with over thee with joy. He will rest in he his will love. Rest in his he love. will be joy will over, over thee, thee with, with sin. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the them assembly. Who, assembly. Are who are of thee, to thee whom to the reproach of thee. it was a burden. Behold, Behold, at that time at that I will time, undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth. And gather her that was driven Amen. out, and I will get them praise and, and fame in praise. every land where they have been yes. put to shame. At that yes. time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord. The Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to uh, pray over our anchor and we want to pray in tongues. Let's go before the Lord and pray over our anchor. 
In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Amen. Amen. Um, tonight, I would like us to just focus on praying for the body of Christ. You know, when we read in the scriptures, we read about uh, what the the great men of the great men and women of God did in the scriptures just to uphold the integrity of the children of Israel. And we also learn from the gospels as well what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ went through the burden that he carried upon his shoulders to be able to right. save mankind. And I believe that uh, we are in a time or a dispensation where we need to carry the burden of the body of Christ. 
Yeah. And we, mm. we learn from the book of Jeremiah, uh, the prophet Jeremiah, he wrote um, a book was written called The Lamentations of the book of Jeremiah. And in that whole book, Jeremiah was just lamenting or moaning for the children of Israel, the people of God. And I believe that we are stepping in that dimension where we really need to have a burden for the work of God. Amen. 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 And um, um, we're just going to be praying from the book of uh, Nehemiah. I'm just going to be selecting passages of scripture that we are going to, to be praying on. Uh, uh, I want us to just read uh, in the book of Nehemiah chapter 1 from verses 1 to 7. He says, uh, the words of Nehemiah, the son of Hakaliah, and it came to pass in the month of Kislev, in the 20th year, as I was in Shushan, the palace, that Hanani, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Judah, and asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity and concerning Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And they said unto me, the remnants that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down and the gates thereof are burnt with fire. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and moaned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, God the great and terrible the great God and terrible that keepeth God covenant, keep covenant and mercy and for mercy them that love you and observe your commandments. Let thine ear now Let be attentive ear. and thine ears and then open that thou mayst hear the prayer of thy servants, of thy servants which I pray before I thee pray now, before day thee and now. night, day and for the night. children of Israel, children thy servants, of Israel, thy and servants, confess the sins of the children of Israel, of the children of Israel which we which have we sinned have against sinned thee. Against Both thee, I and my father's house have sinned. House have we have sinned. Dealt very corruptly been. against thee, and have not and kept the commandments, kept the commandments nor the statutes, nor, nor the, the judgments the which judgment thou commandest thy servants, thy Moses. servants Moses. Amen. Amen. In this passage of scripture, we read that uh, from verse number two, that there was a man called Anani, and the brethren that came to. Um, that came to, to Nehemiah to, and told him what had happened in Jerusalem, that the walls of Jerusalem had broken down and the gates of were burnt with fire. You know, and, and it became a great concern. If you read verse number four, he says that when, when Nehemiah had heard these words, he sat down and he wept and he moaned for certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven because he had a burden for the house of God. He had a burden oh. for Jerusalem. So mm. we, we, we want to go before the Lord, that the Lord gives us the burden to, to, to weep for, for the body of Christ, you know, to pray for the body of Christ, that whatever mm. has made the body of Christ to lose its reputation and its integrity, it, it, the scripture says that the walls were broken down and the gates were burned mm. by fire. And this is the state mm. of the church right now. People look Jesus. down upon the church. There are different mm. types of evils and, and, and wrong things being done in the body of Christ that we want to pray and go into the shoes of Jeremiah and have the burden that he had for Jerusalem, that we may also have the same burden for the body of Christ, that whatsoever has been broken down over the years, may we weep and may we have that burden to rebuild it. Let's go before the Lord and pray. Masita <laughs> Mighty God, Father, and the gates have been rent down. Mighty God, Father, 
in the name of Jesus. We pray for the body of Christ. That whatsoever, yes, Lord, my God, that yes, have fallen Lord, down, Lord, whatsoever Lord, gates that oh, have been burned, heavenly yes, Father, we have Lord, got a burden tonight. Yes, yes Lord, Father, Lord, let the walls be built. Let the gates 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 be built. Let Father, Father, give us that burden, Lord. The same burden, O mighty of Israel, Lord, that was upon the shoulders of Moses. The same burden, Lord, Father, that you had when you, when you were hanged upon that cross. That mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus, it was not the nails that held you upon that cross, but mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, it was your plan for the redemption of man. Mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus, the same burden that you had, Lord, where you took off your glory, and mighty God, you descended in the flesh and you dwelt amongst men for the redemption of man, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, may your ears be attentive and may your eyes be open. O mighty name is your Lord, Father, may you hear the prayer of your servants tonight. Mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we pray for the body of Christ, as we pray, mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, as we weep and moan, mighty God, Father, Lord, Father, for the walls of Jerusalem, the walls of the body of Christ that have been broken down, the gates of the body of of Jesus Christ, Lord, Father, that have been burned by fire, Lord, because of the sin of man. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we walk in the shoes of Jeremiah, and we say, Lord, Father, give us a bread then, Lord, for the, for the body of Jesus Christ, Lord, that mighty God, Father, as we hear these words, Almighty of Israel, Lord, Father, we may sit down and weep and moan, mighty God, certain days, Almighty of Israel, Lord, and fast and pray, mighty God, 
Hallelujah. Um, I would like us to uh, read Nehemiah chapter 2 from verses or, uh, 1 to 9. And it says that it came to pass in the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of Ephesus, the king, that wine was before him. And I took up the wine and, and gave it unto the king. Now I had not been four times said in his presence. Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is thy countenance sad, seeing thou art not sick? This is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was very so afraid, and said unto the king, Let the king live forever. Why should not my countenance be sad, when the city, the place of my father Sepulchus, lieth waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire? 
And the king said unto me, For what dost thou make request? So I prayed to the God of heaven, and I said unto the king, If it please the king, and if thy servant have found favor in thy sight, that thou would have said me unto Judah, unto the city of my father's sepulchre, that I may build it. And the king said unto me, The queen also sitting by him, For how long shall thy journey be? And when wilt thou return? So it pleased the king to send me, and I set him a time. Moreover, I said unto the king, if it please the king, let the letters be given me to the governors beyond the river, that they may convey me over till I come unto Judah. And the letter unto Asa, the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace, which appertain to the house and for the wall of the city, and for the house that I shall enter into. And the king granted him according to the good hand of my God upon me. Then I came to the governors beyond the river and gave them the king's letters. Now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me. Amen. In this particular passage of scripture that I've just read, the word of the Lord tells us from verses 1 that the countenance of Nehemiah was sad before the king. And the king noticed that Nehemiah was not sick, but he was sorrowful in his heart because of the work of God. You know, uh, this is what the Lord is looking for upon us as intercessors, that when we are sorrowful in our hearts because of the work of God, the Lord Jesus Christ will, will look at it and you will ask us, what do you want to be done for you in order for uh, the sorrow that's upon your heart to be dealt with? So the king wrote letters to give Nehemiah passage to go to Jerusalem and make sure that whatsoever state Jerusalem was in was fixed. So we want to go before the Lord and to present our sorrowfulness in our hearts to the, to the King of Kings and to tell him that we are sad with what is happening in the body of Christ. You know, we've got some assistance where pastors are using uh, going to witch doctors and getting things that they're using in church. You know, uh, pastors are committing evils, you know, in the church. And this is uh, giving a bad name to the body of Christ. So we want to go before the Lord with sorrow in our hearts and say, Lord, for the sake of the body of Christ, we, 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 let not this work be destroyed. And we and want we to want pray to as well that the Lord, Lord writes writes letters, writes letters that gives that us passageways. That as we are praying, the, the Lord, Lord allows us to go to that, that place, to, that our prayers get to a place whereby they touch every single church in the body of Christ. And then whatever we are praying for tonight changes, changes the whole body of Christ. And that there's holiness and righteousness in the body of Christ. So let's, so let's go before go. the Lord with sorrowfulness in our hearts and pray that the Lord gives us letters to give us access, that our prayers may be used to rebuild the work in the body of Christ. Let's go before the Lord and pray. Mas <laughs> 
Christ, Lord. We want to rebuild the body of Christ, so much in the vision, Lord. And using our prayers, so much in the vision. Restore honesty, restore integrity, Lord, in the body of Christ. Remove, oh my God, the Lord, Father, false miracles. Mighty God, Father, false teachings, false prophecies. Mighty God, Father, false miracles, signs and wonders. This is being in the body of Christ, Lord. Let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, Father, we cry within our hearts, our hearts bleed. Mighty God, Father, because of the body of Jesus. in our hearts because of the state of the body of Jesus Christ. I pray, Master, you even spoke of the Nicolaitans. Mighty God, Father, the Lord, Father, the Lord, that they created the city of Satan in the church. Mighty God, Father, what has happened to the body of Christ is being in our hearts, we cry within our hearts, mighty God, Father, because of the body of Jesus. In the same way, Lord Father, that Nehemiah was given passage, Lord Father, by the letters of the king, mighty God, Father, to go through the forest, to go through the rivers, Lord Father, to get to Jerusalem, my God, Father, and rebuild, God, Father, the walls, oh my enemies, that have fallen down the gates, that have been dreaded by fire, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, as we pray for the body of Christ, my God, Father, we make spiritual terms, my God, Father, and we descend upon the body of Christ and build it up, Lord, my God, Father, in the name of Jesus, my Shiketele Mendo, Sabaleko, Salamando, Repase, Lecosa, Shiketele Mende, Prophecia, Salamashu, Repepepepepe, Shiketele Pocosia, Salamasu, Pocosia, Salabrosa, Rabababa, Kiba, Lecosia, Salamasu, Letters, Lord Father, to go through the keeper of the king's forest. Mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, for the sake of rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem, for the sake, mighty God, Father, rebuilding the gates. Mighty God, Father, even as the king, mighty God, Father, spoke to Nehemiah, and he said that I shall send you captains of the army, and I shall send you horsemen, Father, in the name of Jesus, we appeal to angelical helpers. We appeal, mighty God, Father, to human helpers, mighty God, Father, to, to restore the body of Christ. Father, we have found favor, mighty God, Father, in your sight, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I pray, mighty God, write letters, mighty God, Father, to us, Lord, Father, write letters, Letters to the body of Christ, mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that we may have passage to restore the integrity, the holiness, and the righteousness of the body of Christ. This is the prayer that God, Father, upon your intercessors, mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus, I call forth intercessors worldwide, intercessors in Asia, intercessors, mighty God, Father, in America, intercessors in Africa, Lord, intercessors in Australia. Lord, intercessors in Europe, Lord, let them gather together, Lord. Let letters be written, Almighty oh, Lord, is your Lord. Let the army of God, Almighty oh, Lord, is your Lord, Father, the horsemen and the army of the King, Lord, Father, our dear Lord, and human helpers, Lord, angelical helpers, mighty God, Father, the army of the Lord, Father, come, 
Almighty God, and help us, Almighty individual, to rebuild. Almighty God, Father, the holiness, the righteousness of the body of Jesus Christ. continue to read the next scripture that we're going to pray on, uh, Nehemiah chapter 2, from verses 10 to 20. We can read it together. And it says, when Sanballat, the horror knight, and Tobiah, the servant, the Ammonite, heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. So I came to Jerusalem and was there three days. And I arose in the night, I and some few men with me. Neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any beast with me, save the beast that I rode upon. And I went out by night by the gate of the valley, even before the dragon well, and to the dung port, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates of thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain and to the king's pool, but there was no place for the beast that was under me to pass. Then went I up in the night by the brook and viewed the wall and turned back and entered by the gate of the valley and so returned. And the rulers knew not whether I went or what I did, neither had I as yet told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. 
Then said I unto them, You see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof are burnt with fire. Come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for their good work. But when Sun Balat the Horonites and Tobiah the servants, the Ammonites, and Geshem the Arabian heard it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, what is this thing that you do while you rebel against the king? Then answered I them and said unto them, the God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we, his servants, will arise and build, but you have no portion, no right, no memorial in Jerusalem. Praise his holy name. Amen. In this passage of scripture that I've just read, we read that um, there were three men, Son, Bala, Tobiah, and Geshem, that were greatly withstanding the building of the work of God. So you'll notice that even as we continue to pray, there's going to be resistance. There are going to be spirits of the kingdom of darkness, agents being used by the kingdom of darkness to come and block the rebuilding or the fixing of the body of Jesus Christ. So these men, the word of the Lord says that they would come to Nehemiah by night and they would start laughing at him they would uh, despise him and uh, they would actually accuse him of things that he wasn't doing because he was told that he was rebelling against the king by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem and by rebuilding the gates that were burnt by fire. But Nehemiah stood his ground and he says that the God of heaven, he will prosper us and we will shall arise and build. Praise his holy name. We want to step into the shoes of Nehemiah and to say that we shall arise despite any spiritual or physical opposition, but we shall arise and pray and rebuild the body of Jesus Christ. So we want to go before the Lord and to say and to pray against any resistance that even uh, the, the word of the Lord tells us that... Um, Affliction shall come, but woe unto him who bringeth afflictions. So we are not saying any, any form of resistance should not come. Let it come, but may the Lord give us strength to trust in him to, for the rebuilding of the body of Christ. Because it says that the Lord, he shall prosper us. So we want to pray for the prosperity of the Lord of rebuilding the work of God in the body of Christ, that any opposition that comes, whether physical, whether financial, or whether spiritual, but the Lord gives us strength to overcome the resistance of the enemy. Let's go before the Lord and pray. Yes. Father, we rebuke the spirit of Sam Ballot. We rebuke the spirit of Tobiah. We rebuke the spirit of Geshe. Mighty God, Father, even if they despise us, even if they mock us, but we shall arise and rebuild, oh my God, the walls that have crumbled in the body of Christ. We shall arise, mighty God, Father, and rebuild the gates. Mighty God, that have been burned by fire in the body of Christ. 
body of Christ. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord has given Nehemiah prosperity to build those walls. The same God in the title of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then came the Lord for Nehemiah, Lord for them, his team, strength to overcome, Lord, for the persecution, and to overcome, Lord, the scorning and the laughing of San Valle, Tobiah, and Yeshua. Ya sada babros babros no one shall despise your intercessors. Mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus, you shall give us strength to prosper. You shall give your servants, so much of the power. Mighty God, Father, to arise and be built. Mighty God, Father, the body of Christ. Tonight, your intercessors are arising. Your intercessors are rebuilding the walls. Father, tonight we rebuild the fish gates in the body of Jesus Christ, Lord. Father, all the valley gates. Mighty God, Father, that have been destroyed, Heavenly Father, in the body of Christ. We are rebuilding them as we intercede. We call for Lord of the angelical carpenters to rebuild the valley gates. Mighty God, Father, the dung gates. Mighty God, let them be rebuilt. The gate of the fountain. Mighty God, Father, let it be rebuilt <laughs> Mighty God, Father, all the Lord, Father, the host gates. Mighty God, Father, Lord, Father, that have been destroyed in the body of Jesus. Mighty God, Father, we call forth to mighty God. Mighty God, Father, Lord, angels in heaven. Mighty God, the intercessors upon the earth, Lord, to rebuild the host gates. Heavenly Father, the East Gate, Mighty God, Father, in the body of Christ, Mighty God, Father, let it be repaired, let it be fixed. Even the gate in this God, let it be repaired, let it be fixed. Mighty God, Father, be repaired, Lord Father, we call forth gold streets. 
Precious Lord, Amen. Uh, for our next prayer point, I'd like us to uh, read from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 4, from verses 1 to 9. We may read it together. It says, but it came to pass that when San Balat heard that we builded the wall, he was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews and he spake before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, what do these feeble Jews Will they fortify themselves? He sacrifice. Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which was burnt? Now Tobiah the Ammonite was by him. And he said, even that which they build, if a fox go up, up, he shall even break down their stone wall. Hear, O oh, our God, we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity and cover not their iniquity and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee for they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. So built we the wall and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof for the people had mind to work. And it came to pass that when some and, Balat, and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped. Then they were very wroth and conspired all of them together to come and fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Amen.
in this uh, passage of scripture that we've just read just now, uh, we read that through all the warfare that Sun, Bala, Tobiah, and Geshem, the Ammonites, the Arabians, uh, had against the rebuilding of the walls, it did not stop them. They, uh, these particular individuals, they came and they started um, insulting the children of God as they were rebuilding these walls, saying that how are you going to re uh, revive the stones out of the rubbish that was already burnt, you know, to, to give discouragement. You know, people will, will come and say, uh, you're wasting your time paying for the body of Christ. You know, that's the spirit of San Balat and Tobai. Anyone who discourages praying for the body of Christ or the restoration of integrity in the body of Christ has got the spirit of Tobiah. Because in, we're told that Tobiah the Ammonite, he even said that even if a fox uh, comes upon that wall, that wall will not stand. This is someone who tells you that even when you pray for the body of Christ, people will still continue to sin. People, leaders will continue to perform evil and uh, fake miracles, you know, and start doing all sorts of evil in the church. But we want to stand our ground and to pray the same way that Nehemiah prayed. Because he said to the Lord, he had, he had, you know, he had this resistance that, that came, came towards it, but he prayed and he said, oh God, we are despised. Turn our reproach upon their heads and whatsoever they're saying unto us, let it fall upon their heads because we are praying for the building of the body of Jesus Christ. You know, and as, as they kept on praying, son, Bala, Tobiah, you know, even got uh, a group of other people, the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites. And the word of the Lord says that the more that they heard that the wall was coming together, you know, in verse 6, it says that they were building the wall together. And as they saw that the wall is coming together because the people had a mind to work, the people had a mind for the restoration of the body of Jesus Christ, they began more to become more angrier. So, so, so we, we want to uh, pray and come before the Lord and to and say, to say uh, uh, and to stand with verse nine that says, nevertheless, we made our prayer unto God and we and set, we set a, watch. a watch. So even so as we are we praying pray by night, as we are setting a watch by night, the Lord the will hear us. us. Even if despite, despite, despite any opposition or despite any warfare, that might come from the kingdom of darkness against us praying for the rebuilding and the restoration of the body of Christ, the Lord will defend us because we've set a watch by night to pray for the body of Christ. Amen. Yes, Lord, thank you. So we want to go before the Lord and pray in tongues. Masa Ye <laughs> <laughs> 
because of the burden of the word of God. Mighty God, Father, any, any, any words of despising, mighty God, Father, give us strength, Lord God, the Lord Father, to overcome because of the burden of the body of Christ. Give us, Almighty of Israel, Lord, the ability to overcome words, to overcome discouragement, to overcome, mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, anything that sets us back, that we will not tire to pray for the body of Christ. We will not tire to rebuild, oh my turn of Israel, Lord, Father, the walls and the gates that have been destroyed in the body of Christ. we pray amen we'd like to take our next prayer point uh, from the book of nehemiah Chapter 4, from verses 15 to 23. Uh, we may read it together. And it says, And it came to pass 
when our enemies heard that it was known unto us and God had brought their counsel to naught, that we returned all of us to the war, everyone unto his work. And it came to pass from that time forth that the half of my servants wrought in their work and the other half of them held both spears, the shields, and the bows, and the habergeons, and the rulers were behind all the house of Judah, they which builded on the wall, and they that bear burdens, with those that laddered, everyone with one of his hands wrought in the work, and with the other hand held a weapon. For the builders, everyone had his sword girded by his side, and so build it. And he that sounded the trumpet was by me. And I said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, the work is great and large, and we are separated upon the wall, one far from another. In that what place, therefore, you hear the sound of the trumpet, restore ye thee the unto us. Our God shall fight for us. So we labored in the work, and half of them held the spears from the rising of the morning till the stars appeared. Likewise, at the same time, said I unto the people, let everyone with his servant lodge within Jerusalem, that in the night they may be God to us and labor on the day. So neither I, nor my brethren, nor my servants, nor the men of the guard which followed me, none of us put off our clothes, saving that everyone put them off for washing. Amen. Amen. From this particular passage of scripture, uh, we are told that um, to Nehemiah, it was told to him what the enemies had planned against him but the word of the lord tells us that the lord brought the counsel of the enemies to not praise his holy name amen that any amen. words of discouragement that are being said you know in the body of christ you know there's a lot of things that even the governments of this world might say the leaders of this world might say unto the church and say the church is not doing anything the church is is mm. failing but you see it, it was counsel that Nehemiah knew about, but the word of the Lord says that God brought their counsel to naught. Amen. So I want to say Amen. anyone who is speaking against the church, may the Lord bring their counsel to naught. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. And, and it says in that passage that I've just read that as the builders were building the walls, in one hand they were building, laying bricks, but in the other hand they had a, 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 a weapon of war. So we, we want to pray as we are about to pray now that may the Lord give us the ability to fight. You know, that as we are building the body of Christ, may the, may the Lord give us weapons to fight against enemy that, any enemy that might want to come and destroy the walls that we are rebuilding in the body of Christ. Mm. The, the word tells us um, I believe it should be verse 20 that says, in what place uh, therefore you hear the sound of the trumpet? Resort ye thither unto us, our God shall fight for us. There's this verse of scripture that says um, that, that when you hear the sound of the trumpet or an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So we want to say that the trumpet is sounded an uncertain sound. It is time for intercessors worldwide to hear that the trumpet has been blown and that we may Amen. rise up to the occasion and take up our spears and our souls because the word of the Lord tells us that in, in, in their side, uh, they, they had the sword. It, it, it should be um, verse number, um, this is that. Um, that there it is. Uh, verse 18, it says, for the builders, everyone had his sword girded by his side. And so builders, so they were building with weapons on their side. So we want to say, may the Lord give us weapons of warfare, that anything that wants to fight the rebuilding or the restoration of the body of Christ, they will face the weapons of the Lord. Amen. 
So Amen. we want to go before the Lord so that the Lord strengthens us for warfare, that we are not tired to fight any enemy that shall come to us as we are rebuilding the body of Christ. So we want to pray for all intercessors in the body of Christ worldwide mm. upon the whole earth. Mm. Let us come together and have a mind to rebuild the integrity of the body of Christ. And we want to pray for wep spiritual weapons of warfare upon every intercessor worldwide, that whoever comes to fight the building of the church or the building of the body of Christ, they're able to fight against that spirit or that particular individual. Let's go before the Lord and pray. Yes. Father, we have seen, Lord, our enemies. So much we have known and we have heard of our enemies. Father, let the council, Father, let the council, any government, any individual, any pandemic, any disease, any religion, Almighty, oh, because of the building of the body of Christ, let their counsel be brought to naught. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, mighty God, Father, that any counsel, mighty God, Father, that shall be given to anyone fighting the body of Jesus Christ, it shall come to naught. Father, because of this law, the word of the law says that they managed the team, they went that Lord, Father, and they started rebuilding the walls. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, strengthen every intercessor. I pray for all intercessors in the body of Jesus Christ in Asia. I pray for all intercessors in Africa, Lord. I pray for all intercessors in North America, all intercessors in South America, all intercessors in Europe, all intercessors in Australia, all intercessors, mighty God, Father, in all nations upon the earth, Lord, Father, let them arise wheresoever they are. Let them get their spears. Let them get their spiritual swords. Mighty God, and let them, Lord, Father, have this, their weapons in one hand and let them build, Lord, Father, the walls in, in the body of Christ with the other hand, Lord. The trumpet has sounded. Heavenly Father, even in the book of Exodus, Lord, you gave mighty God, Father Moses, Lord, you gave the children of Israel the two silver trumpets. Mighty God, Father, when the two silver trumpets were blown, mighty God, it was a sign of war. Lord, Father, the trumpet has sounded, Lord, and we are saying that as the body of Christ, as intercessors, mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are fighting for the body of Jesus. My grandfather even says, Lord Father, that we were separated. Some were on one side of the wall, the others were on the other side of the wall, far away from each other. Lord Father, even those that are in Africa and those in America, we might be separated by distance. But my God, as we come together, Lord, distance shall not be a barrier, Lord. We come together in the spirit and we rebuild those intercessors in South America, the intercessors in China, the intercessors in India, Lord, the intercessors, mighty God, in Namibia, Lord, the intercessors, Heavenly Father, in Africa, Lord, Lord, Father, even though we are separated, Lord, Father, by the wall, one far from another, but Lord, Father, in the spirit, we build the walls, we restore the gates. Father, raise those who are the Lord, and that shall stand for us intercessors. My God, that are praying for other intercessors, because the word of the Lord says that Lord, Father, some are holding spears. My God, from the rising of the morning, Lord, 
Father, the stars appear. Father, in the name of Jesus, holding in defense. Mighty God, Father, protecting those that were rebuilding the walls. I pray, Mighty God, Father, raise intercessors in the body of Christ that will pray for the protection of other intercessors, Lord. Raise those almighty of Israel, Lord, that will be on guard, almighty of Israel, Lord, in the afternoon. My God, raise intercessors that will be praying in the afternoon. Intercessors will be praying in the morning. Intercessors will be praying at the night. Intercessors will be praying in the evening, Lord. Raise them up, Lord. Mighty God, Father, for the scripture says, Lord, that mighty God, Father, amongst the brethren and the servants, or the men that were on guard, Almighty of Israel, none put off their clothes. Mighty God, Father, we do not put on, we will not put off our clothing of intercession, Lord, for the, for the building of the body of Christ. We will not put off our clothes. We will not get we will not give up, oh, mighty of Israel, Lord. Mighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We will not take off our Lord, Father, our interceding garments, Lord. Up until, mighty God, the gates that were burned by fire, Lord, are rebuilt. Up until the wall that is crumbled, Lord, is being rebuilt. Baba <laughs> Mighty God, raise intercessors worldwide. Bring us together, Lord. That wall that Jeremiah built. Bring us that we may stand together, Lord. Mighty God, but in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. That Lord, that the, the walls of Jericho, the walls of Martin and Israel of the body of Christ, and the gates, Lord, Lord, of the body of Christ, can be rebuilt. Let all intercessors, Lord Father, tonight worldwide worship Heavenly Father in the shoes of Nehemiah to rebuild, oh my television, the work of God. My God, Father, that is crumbled, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, as I take my last prayer point, um, after we're done praying, I'm going to ask uh, Apostle Seth to just close for us and seal all the prayers. Amen. Uh, Amen. In Nehemiah chapter Amen. 6, verse 1. Let's read it together. We'll read both verses, verse 1 and verse 15. Now it came to pass when Sanballat and Tobiah and Geshem the Arabian and the rest of our enemies heard that I had built the wall and that there was no breach left therein, though at that time I had not set up the doors upon the gates. 
verse 15. So the wall was finished in the 20th and fifth day of the month Elu, and 50 and two days. So despite all the opposition that came from uh, San Bala, Tobiah, Geshem, the Arabians, the uh, Ammonites, and the Ashdodites, you know, uh, Nehemiah and his team, they continued to build up until the walls were rebuilt. The gates that were also burned down by fire were restored, but it was only the gates that were left. But the word of the law says in verse 15 that they had now finished all that work within 52 days. Amen. Mm, amen. So we want to pray and to say uh, that may the Lord give us strength to continue to build these walls in the body of Christ. And whatever opposition that is there, may the Lord give us strength to continue up until we have finished that work that the Lord wants us to do. You know, <clears throat> in the word of the Lord, Paul also made a statement. And he says that yeah. I have I've run my course. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. You know, you, get to, you got to that place where he was content that he had done that work which the Lord had sent him to do. So we also want to stand um, upon uh, such a dimension to also say that, Lord, you have given us a mandate to pray for the body of Christ. And up until the body of Christ has been restored, we will continue to pray. It doesn't matter how many days it's going to take or how many months, but the Lord has given us this burden to rebuild the walls and the gates in Jerusalem. So we want to pray that the Lord gives um, uh, us, uh, Christ Love Ministries International, intercessors as well as inter intercessors worldwide, the strength to continue, mm. that we may stand our ground one day and be like Paul and say, we have run our race. We have mm. kept the faith. We have fought a good fight, you know, and, and, mm. and say even if death comes now, we are ready to go because mm. we have rebuilt Precious. what we are supposed to do. Amen. So let's go before the Lord and pray for such an endurance anointing. Amen. That we may stand like Paul, Heavenly Father, we said, Lord, that I have, I have kept my, I have kept my race. Mighty God, God, in the name of Jesus, I fought a good fight. Heavenly Father, in the name of I have kept the faith, Father, in the name of Jesus, like Nehemiah, Lord, Father, who did not give up. We pray, Lord, Father, for intercessors worldwide, intercessors in Christ Love Ministries International, at the mandate that you have given us to pray for the body of Christ, to pray for the restoration of the walls, the restoration of the gates. My God, in the body of Jesus Christ, we will not tire. My God, Father, in the name of Jesus, even according to Nehemiah chapter 4, is that they did not, they did not take off their clothing. Mighty God, Father, we will not take off our clothing of intercessory prayers. Mighty God, up until the body of Jesus Christ, Mighty God, Father, has been restored, Mighty God, to that position, Lord Father, that makes you happy. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Mighty God, Father, let the intercessors arise, wherever they are. Mighty God, Father, give them strength, Lord, not to give up, give them strength not to tire, give them strength Lord Father for endurance give them finishing grace give them mighty God give them mighty God 
in the name of Jesus up until mighty God Father the walls have been rebuilt Lord up until Lord Father there is no breach within the walls up until the gates have been restored up until the wall has been finished Lord up until we stand Lord Father and we say mighty God Father that the walls are finished. The gates are finished. The gates are finished. The gates are finished. The the body of Christ shall be restored. Gates in the body of Jesus Christ, they shall be restored. Integrity in the body of Jesus Christ shall be restored. Holiness and righteousness in the body of Christ shall be restored. Love in the body of Christ shall be restored. Peace, mercy, and grace. Mighty God, Father, those walls, those gates, they shall be restored in the body of Jesus Christ, Lord. Mashikanda Babrosa, the genuine move of God shall be restored. My God, Father, in the name of Jesus, you are using Almighty of Israel, Lord Father, spiritual sweeping, Lord. You are sweeping out, Lord Father, any hypocrisy. You are sweeping out any evil out of the church, out of the body of Christ, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that integrity and honesty, Lord, shall be restored in the body of Jesus. Mighty God, let go, call, shall be we make this call, mighty God, to all intercessors worldwide. Let them arise and build. Let them arise and pray. Let them arise and restore the power and the genuine move of God in the body of Jesus. Lord, we arise and we build. Barusa, <laughs> <laughs> 
Heavenly Father, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for restoration. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Father, for the grace that you have given us. Thank you for the mandate you trust in us, Father, as an intercessor. Mm. Yes. Father, we thank you that you are going to restore the body of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you are raising men and women for this time and for this season yes. as a prayer warrior. Father, we thank you for your servant who was leading the prayers tonight. Give him more strength. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah Jesus. Nishi, Jehovah Rapha. Thank you, Father, mm -hmm. that you answer our prayers. Yes, Lord. Thank yes. you, Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, so yes, the body of Christ will not be the same again. Yes, Father, the name of Jesus Christ, the mighty Lord. name of Jesus. Yes, thank yes. you, Father, the angels that is released tonight to help us. The same angels that help for Nehemiah to reduce the walls of Jerusalem. Yes, the same angels be released. Yes, Yes, Father, we pray to strengthen us so that we cannot be weak. Yes, Father, everyone he is tired. Father, strengthen our feet. the name of oh, yes, Lord. Strengthen us mm. physical, spiritual, and you grace us up, my father. Yes, to stand in the gate, my father. I say, uh -huh. yes. Father, we thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jehovah, my father, that you thank answer you, our Jesus. prayers yes, and we see our prayers with the blood of Jesus. Thank, thank you, you Lord, Heavenly Jesus. Father. As we are going to sleep, my father, we pray, Father, Praise Jesus. Jesus. Lord. father mm. in the name of Jesus, thank you, my father, mm. my God, in mm. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Surely. 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 Yes. 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 All the days of our lives. All the days of our lives. And we shall dwell, we in, shall the house dwell in the house of the Lord forever and, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now. May the, no, grace may the grace of the Lord, of the Lord Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ, the love of God, the, love of God, and the sweet fellowship, sweet of, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us, be now, with us now and, and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. 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 It is well. God bless my pastors. Amen. Good morning. Amen. And good pastor. Night. Good morning. Amen. Yes. Good morning. Amen. 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 Amen.